I think it's tricky. I start, I, I kind of, I can see both sides to it and being, you know, a, a company owner and having juggled and it has got harder in the last, you know, few years and, um, and trying to keep everyone happy. And, um, but the way I see it is every, every business is different and this whole kind of, it's focusing too much on company culture and have you got a pool table? Have you got Prosecco on tap? Have you all, all these things in order to keep, you know, your employees and, and offer them, the, you know, the, the perks of the job when ultimately it comes down to this person fitting in, especially small businesses. These people have to fit into a small team, but often it's quite like a family. They have to fit in. They have to fit into the company ethos. They have to, you know, really buy the main bit is buying into what the company is about and the mission. And the, and that's the that I, I feel that's being lost in this need to have this amazing company culture. And it loses track of actually, you know, why are they in there? Why are they in there in the first place? What are they wanting to do? Are they? Do you want them in there because they're going to just have a just mess around playing table tennis, or are they going to live and breathe the business and really feel it and get on board the mission? So I just think it's how you handle them and inspire them and empower them to actually want to work is being lost. Well, mm, yeah. you, you lost me when you were talking about Prosecco on tap. I zoned out at that point and I was starting to dream about Prosecco on tap, thinking, where are these workplaces? Quite <laughs> frankly, I want to go work there. Uh, but joking aside, um, what do you think to what Emma is saying there? Um, your thoughts on this whole kind of Gen Z? Are we going a bit soft to entice them in? Yeah, I, I'm not sure if we're necessarily going a bit soft, but I think, I think the, the thing with the workplace is you want kind of a basic level of respect and decency and some level of flexibility but it's a lot of that's kind of common sense i think some of these kind of gimmicks around you know prosecco on tap or therapy um free therapy sessions or i remember i, I in 2016 i went undercover at some companies and I investigated some workplaces and one of the places i went it was very gimmicky so i mean there was this free bar at, at the christmas party and there was like celebrities invited and you got offered these discounts in local restaurants but we, we were only just barely paid. Uh, I think we were paid the minimum wage. Like we, we, we weren't paid a living wage. And it seemed like these things were done as an excuse kind of not to, not to pay people a proper wage. Um, I, th I, I, I don't think this stuff is universal either. I mean, my, my girlfriend, she, she works somewhere where they won't even let them have a microwave in, in the kitchen there to heat, heat up their food to force them to go and use the, uh, use the canteen and spend money there, which I think there's, there's still a lot of bad workplaces around. So, yeah, I think some of this stuff is a bit silly and, and maybe maybe is a bit unnecessary, but there, there are still a lot of workplaces where people struggle to even get a basic, uh, be treated with a basic level of decency.